Hello Capricorn ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. So Capricorns, I like to focus exclusively on your financial situation from now until the end of July. Rest assured ladies and gentlemen that this reading simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information that you're seeking. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my conjure cards today. I'm just going to give you a, a card to Nancy reading, but we're going to be focusing exclusively on your financial situation. Now, sometimes I tend to do combinations, so I may share with you things that are unrelated or out of scope with the subject under discussion, but it is interrelated, okay? Let's go on and just shuffle up here and just ask Spirit one poignant question. Is Capricorn financial situation going to get any better soon? And what can they expect? What can Capricorns expect? Capricorns, I'm going to examine your past or it might be presently happening now. And then I'm going to share with you what I'm seeing as a probable outcome should you continue on as you are. Okay? All right. Let's go on and just pull some cards here. All right. Capricorns, we have the King of Hearts. The next card we have is the Ten of Spades. The next card we have is the Six of Spades. Okay. And we have the King of Diamonds. And this is referencing your past, okay? Now I'm going to show you what I'm seeing with your with your future here. And I'm going to give you a consolidated story so that you can understand here. Okay, we also have the Eight of Spades. Let's select two more cards. We have the Queen of Clubs. And last but not least, we have the Ten of Clubs here. All right. So let's just go on and just to make a few general observations, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'll go on and give you a more consolidated story from which you can follow. Okay. Right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, you see that we have these two kings that's here in your reading. So, of course, when you have combinations here, it means something. These two kings here. And what that denotes, ladies and gentlemen, is that whatever money-making schemes that you are planning or that you uh, undertake with friends, it's very like, likely to be successful or any business partnerships or businesses started now it's success seems to be inevitable that I'm seeing. Okay. I'm also seeing here now, I'm going to look at your past here and it's kind of, okay, let's see what it's saying here. Your past is kind of telling me that it seems that you guys had to make a sudden move or either relocate, either move to a new home or either move your business here. And I'm feeling that friends and family members help you particularly family members you know help you do that I'm also seeing some of you interested in commerce and trade um, sales I'm seeing that you Capricorn you seem to be with a very wealthy partner that I'm getting here or you too have the ability to really do great things here I'm seeing I'm also seeing jealousy it looks like it seems to be more related to your friends that I'm getting here. And I'm seeing some type of disappointment that occurred or sadness that will occur due to your wrong social connections here. I'm also seeing a big event that's coming up. Now let's get a little bit more into your financial situation here. I see that whatever financial problems that you guys experienced in the past, they were resolved, okay? 
And as I said, it looks like you benefited from either a Gemini male or female. It could be an Earth male or female, okay? Who really assisted you a great deal. Perhaps through their income or through monies earned through a business of their own here. Spirit is also showing too that some of you might have received money from a business or an inheritance. And I'm, I get a, a strong sense that you were able to stash some cash away or to save cash because I feel that you, perhaps within the last two to three months, you went on a trip and you had to save for that. I'm kind of getting. Spirit is telling me by looking at the arrangements of your cards, try to avoid lending money so casually because you're going to find yourself regretting it, you know? Maybe sometimes you might make impromptu decisions, but this one won't make you feel good. If you really don't have the money to share with people, then don't. What I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, that in the final analysis, I see you receiving a very large sum of money. It looks like it's a windfall that might be coming. You guys might receive that through a gamble, through a risk or some type of investment, or it could certainly come through bonuses from your job as well. But it seems to be a very substantial amount here. I'm also feeling too, and this might be a little bit off here from the time period. I'm seeing you getting a new job or you're going to be launching a new business but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen until around the september or november period through the november period but it might as easily happen for some of you sooner than that okay so spirit wants you to have faith i'm capricorn and continue to persevere because success is just right around the corner and with this large, substantial amount of money, it also could be something that many of you have had a trying time, you know, trying to collect. Just know that this money is certainly forthcoming, all right? So that concludes the reading with using my regular cards there. So what I like to do is just to share with you a few final closing messages, ladies and gentlemen, on how you could simply just reflect on your relationship to money, your relationship to your career, and your relationship to abundance here. So Spirit, give me four final messages here to share with Capricorn. Messages that they really need to hear. Okay, Capricorns, we have Karma. Whatever you sent out to the world is what you're going to get back, ladies and gentlemen. And there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in this life. You know, so I'm kind of feeling too that some of you might have even also had problems with your spending habits. And you're kind of reuniting, if you will, with your double, doppelganger or your evil twin, if you will. But just know that you're going to get whatever it is that you have sown. Next message. Individuality. Spirit wants you to know that every person has his or her own personalized study plan in this earth school. Follow your plan. Do what's best for you. Next message. Grounded. As you stay grounded and continue to persevere, ladies and gentlemen, success, as I said, is just right around the corner. Understand that many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks, living with joy, dignity, and courage. You too can live that way. And last message today, intuition is always a very good idea to trust your intuition when making important, crucial financial decisions. Each person's road to the end of the Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. So with that said, Capricorn, that is your reading. I certainly hope it has offered food for thought. 
should anyone wishes to have a more personalized reading you can certainly scoop right over to my website to schedule or to purchase there is currently an active fifteen dollar coupon with which you can apply to any of the readings displayed on the website or to one more customized thanks so much for your time and bye for now